I'm running. Here we are. Listen, folks, I know it's been a long haul for you as the viewer of this vlog and for everybody as far as this injury is concerned. You know, we've been talking about it a lot and even yesterday trying to jog once again after another little break just because I want to make sure we don't go backward with this injury. Uh, but I got to make a quick shout out to, so because of that, uh, in the comments yesterday, I read Jason's comment. Thank you. Shout out to Jason. Remember Jason, we did the 5k time trial. No. Yeah. 5k time trial and he PR'd. Uh, it was amazing. Well, Jason commented yesterday about this phantom uh, feeling, pain, however you want to, whatever category you want to put it into uh, after bone injury, specifically stress fractures. So we're going to break it down today, talk about this, because uh, who knows, maybe you're out there and you're struggling with this feeling. I don't even know a better word to use for describing what is going on in the foot right now. So anyway, shout out to Jason. Let's get ready, rock and roll. And uh, bottom line though, we're back to some grass fields, new grass fields to run at today. So that's exciting. Something a little different and just see how it does. You know what? It's like, just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Thanks for being here. You too. Okay. Just tying my Terra Kiger fives and I got to make a quick shout out to the medical professionals. If you are watching, I know there's a few doctors and physical therapists that watch this vlog. Thank you for watching, but I need your insight. Do you have experience uh, with phantom pain after stress fractures, after stress reactions? I think a lot of folks who are struggling with bone injuries right now or who have in the past or hopefully who don't in the future, but you never know, these things can pop up as runners. Could you share your opinions, your ideas, your insights into this phantom pain that some of us do struggle with? So we'd appreciate it uh, because listen, I can, I'm a runner. I've got a lot of experience, <laughs> too much experience with stress fractures, but at the end of the day, I didn't study the science behind the bones and how they heal up. I'm learning a lot more right now, which I'll share more about back in the studio and like the whole calcification of the bones and um, yeah, anyway, I won't even get into it right now. So if you could let us know your thoughts and opinions, we'd appreciate it down below. So it's a little breezy out. Hopefully you can hear me. Basically, I just want you to know, for start here, I have zero pain. Zero pain while I'm running, okay? I don't feel a thing in my left foot. But I will say, you know, last night, there was a sensation in my left foot when I was sitting editing the vlog last night. And what is this phantom pain? It means the injury is actually healed, but the nerves, the ligaments, the tendons around the stress fracture area, the stress reaction are reacting to this calcium deposit that forms uh, right on your foot, right at the stress fracture area. It's all part of the healing process and it might feel like a stress fracture. It might feel like it's coming back, but, and sometimes it does big asterisk, big warning. Sometimes it does. You have to be careful. That's why I stopped last week. And in addition to this calcium deposit aggravating or yeah, basically aggravating what's around it, the nerves, there can also be a mental side to phantom pain that we're going to talk more back, more about back in the studio where it's literally all in your head. And this can create a phantom pain as well. Uh, it's just, which just blows my mind that the, the brain is that kind of connected to obviously the rest of our body. So anyway, phantom pain right now, I'm telling you, it's a zero folks. It's a zero. I don't feel a thing and I want to keep it that way with the, uh, the zero pain scale. And so this phantom pain, I'll continue to monitor and shout out to all the new subscribers. Just so you know, uh, I am about eight to nine weeks out from the initial pain in my foot. So I have been as patient as possible, but frankly, now it's just time to see like, are we, am I dealing with this phantom pain? 
in a good, again, like I, I remember this phantom painting from 10 years ago, but a shout out to Jason for just kind of planting the seed again in my mind. And yes, sometimes, uh, sometimes the mind is a little off. If you know what I mean, YouTube family. The circus called, they want their clown back. Oh, what am I doing in all these colors? Excuse the crazy hair, just getting out of the pool and cross training. It's begun. It's a little strange, I must say. I've never been much of a cross trainer except when I'm injured. So now that I'm approaching health, full health, emphasis on approaching and not there yet, uh, I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is the balance with running, cross training, and making sure that, frankly, this doesn't happen again. So anyway, it's good to be back in the pool. And I took that time off, maybe start, you know, about 10 days ago, I said, okay, we're gonna knock this out. And that means I'm just gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna sit and be quote unquote lazy. And so far, so good. All right, let's dive into phantom pain with respect to stress fractures that's probably why you're here if you found this video welcome if you're searching maybe you're struggling with stress fractures i'm just going to read a couple things that i found yes online uh some just from uh personal blogs from you know runners who have struggled with stress fractures but then also from some cited sources uh medical journals all right so i'm just going to read here here we go when this calcium deposit presses outward on other tissue including nerve tissue, one can feel different sensations. Remember I was talking about tightness the last like 10 days or last two weeks, like it just felt tight in that area. I don't know, maybe that's what I was feeling. Uh, one can feel different sensations, including, including numbness or tingling while running for several months afterwards. Now, I don't really feel it when I'm running. It's really just when I'm kind of sitting around or maybe walking around in the boot. It just felt, a, it feels a little tight. So who knows? Okay, then it goes on. Uh, there, are, there are a few ways to tell if the twinges of pain you are experiencing are the real thing, a, a stress fraction or stress reaction or not. Does the pain remain steady or progressively get worse throughout the run? If so, check with your doctor. I always say that, don't listen to me. Check with your doctor. If not, and the pains are sporadic and vary, vary in intensity and location, chances are that the pains are phantom pains and are not a cause for worry. This is beyond exciting. Like I can't even tell you how exciting it is to just read those words. And that was from a medical journal. Um, and I all have to find the citation and, and mark it and link it down below. So basically like it is moving around for me. It's, it's not always in the same spot and it comes and goes like it's, and that's why I've told maybe you, I've definitely told true love, like it's confusing. I think I said that last week to you guys. It's just, I'm confused. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. So the fact that it's not like one spot, it's not, it definitely doesn't get worse throughout a run. This is good. And as I said earlier, like, it's basically a zero on the pain scale, especially today. Like it feels really, really good. Okay, what else do I wanna share? One little else. Oh yeah, this is just a, um, okay. This is a quote from an actual, from a personal blog from a runner. Phantom pains can be caused by aforementioned calcium buildup that can also be mentally induced by fear of re-injury. Guys, ladies, this, this, I mean, what I've felt over the last two weeks, it, it might, I, I told true love, I haven't always told you guys, and I'm telling you now, like, I've been afraid, like I just told, I don't wanna go backward. And there's a fear factor there, and I'm not saying that's a, a good uh, way to approach 
living to approach running, just getting back into running, it's not a good place to live in fear. So they go on to say, think of it as post-traumatic stress fracture disorder, where instead of mental flashbacks to the time of trauma, there are phantom pains. So, oh man. I remember yesterday I talked about, uh, I, I purchased a book, uh, Running Is My Therapy. Like all of this connection to how our brain is reacting to different stimuluses, stimuli around our bodies, connected to pain, connected to uh, just the sensation of getting out there and running. All right, so there you have it on phantom pain, just kind of reading from different sources, whether it's personal experiences or medical journals. I, I had remembered phantom pain and I had told True Love, and we're gonna talk to True Love in a minute. I had told True Love about phantom pain like two or three weeks ago, but it's just nice to be reminded about it from various people, various sources, and right now, I'm excited. All right, we'll get to the question of the question of the day in a minute. Let's go outside, get a little grub in our tummies. Does it get better than fries, burger, and a shake? I submit that it does not. Right, true love? I agree. I agree. <laughs> Basically, okay. Um, today, we're talking all about Ooh. phantom, keyword, keyword, not phantom of the opera, <laughs> phantom pain. Yeah, it's a real thing. I, so, shout out to Jason again. Okay. This commentary today, yesterday, and he's the guy that did the 5K PR. That yeah. I filmed. He just reminded, and remember we talked about it two or three weeks ago, mm -hmm. the phantom pain. Yeah, we did. And basically, it's, you know, I did more research today. Okay. And we might never know for sure. Okay. But I think that might be what's going on. And it's very exciting. That's fantastic news. Because the pain scale is so low. So low. And it's moving we around. Also have really good pain tolerance. Yes, good pain but tolerance. So, so anyway, okay. question of the day. Who has suffered or struggled with phantom pain for anything? I don't even know. Does that doctors out there remember I asked earlier, uh, can you suffer from phantom pain in like a soft tissue injury, like a hamstring or a calf strain, or I don't know, any sort of soft tissue. Bone, it obviously, I think it really can happen. And anyways, doing a bunch of research today. Hun, four miles, nice and easy, on grass, and no pain during the run, really no pain after the run. And remember last night I was like, just a little, little something, something. And so, it's very exciting. Phantom, boom, Come phantom. On. Come on. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Fun. Is this good? You know what I keep thinking of? The phantom drone. Isn't there a drone? Yes. <laughs> I think they're. Like the big white clunky one. Oh, yes. <laughs> the phantom four. Yeah. Yes.